Mrs. Hay, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be out buying a dress. Oh, yeah, well, we looked at some, but I think she wanted to go into Colton at the hospital. Oh, we saw him down in the docks by the medical van. Seemed to have his hands full. Yeah. I thought I'd come here, help Felicia do some of this stuff, but, you know, she's so efficient. She's got this all shipped here already. Yeah. I think Colton's a very lucky man. Oh, yes, very lucky. I really admire a man who knows a beautiful, intelligent woman when he sees one. Mm -hmm. it's no, it's not a good time to be. Did you talk to him? Yes, I talked to him, but the man seems to be suffering from a heavy case of commitment paralysis. Hey, listen, you two, what is this? Let's rough up Robert Day, huh? Mm -hmm. We just don't want you to pass up a good thing, that's all. I don't see how you can make a statement like that. I mean, what if this thing isn't as good or as better as you say it's going to be good and better? It might not be that good. He's worried about what they're going to talk about. <laughs> With that vocabulary? Mm -hmm. We've got nothing in common. What have we got in common? Well, you're both, uh, tall and blonde and good-looking. Yeah. How long is that going to last in a conversation? Oh. With you for years. <laughs> <laughs> no, and, and you have very interesting careers. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I work with the scumbags of the world, and she plays classical music. Look, there are plenty of things for a man and woman to talk about. Or not talk about. Yeah, actions speak louder than words, Robert. You know what your big problem is? Robert? I've got two of them right here in this No, office. your problem. You've forgotten the art of dating. Dating? Dating. You mean Archie Jughead and Veronica, and let's go to the malt shop? Exactly, dating? exactly. Now, why don't you just pretend that uh, Catherine's a woman you've just met? Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Don't know anything about her. Mm -hmm. She's this beautiful, tall, mysterious stranger who plays the piano. That's yeah, very interesting. Mm -hmm. Right. Very shapely. Mm -hmm. You want to know everything you can about her. Mm -hmm. What would you do? Mm -hmm. Check her out for a rap sheet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no. Come on, you take her out for a little supper, a little wine, a little conversation. Oh, look, I hate this. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. On. Where would you take a woman on her, your first date with her? Where'd you Where? Go? Where? Oh. Drunk tank? You have been a cop too long. Oh. Why don't you just take her to a movie? A movie. Okay. After that, you go out for a little bite to eat, and then you talk about the movie. And that would solve your problem about what we should talk about. Everybody talks about the movies. It's an idea, a dumb one, but I don't No! Idea. Call her. Come on. I, look, I don't want to upset office. Uh, Just call upset. her. I have to call Tom. Yeah, yeah, that was for your own good, though. This is for my own good. Your chicken. Look, I find this whole, this whole thing unacceptably puerile and, and trivial. And next I'll be expected to buy flowers. Right. Yeah. Two points. <laughs> Come in, I, I, I remember what I said on the phone. Oh, right, the first date. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm here to see Miss Delafield. Oh, all right. Uh, who shall I say is calling? Mr. Scorpio. Uh, <laughs> yes, Mr. Scorpio. Uh, Catherine, uh, Miss Delafield. I'm coming, just a second. Hi, Robbie. Oh. Uh, Miss Delafield, uh, this is Mr. Scorpio. He's here to see you. Are we going to really go through uh, I'm so glad you consented to come to the movies with me. Um, uh, th 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 these some daisies, I, I hope you um, you like them. They're plastic. They last longer, huh? What do you think? It's really silly. <laughs> yeah, I think um, it's fun. Uh, uh, I've got a movie to go to at 5.30, and I'm real happy you agreed to come, and, and, and I promised to get you home a real early. Uh... Listen, I'll take those daisies and put them in water. I'm not going to do this. Oh, you said you'd father. try. How are we supposed to act like we just met? After all that we've been through. But we haven't been through anything yes, because we haven't met. Yes, we have, yeah, we have met. You know how important it is for first impressions, Miss Delafield. I mean, you don't want me to think that you're a stupid, lackadaisical jerk stupid. now, do you? Stupid? You wouldn't want me to tell you to stick it Listen, in your ear. Listen, are we going to have a you? nice, happy evening or not, huh? Well, let's try, <laughs> got it? I don't know if this is going to be any fun. Okay, I guess we could... They'll get married to stop. Stop what? I don't know. Nothing. Nothing. Look, if it's what I'm getting from Devane and Donnelly, then I hardly concur, all right? Oh, Lavery and Donnelly. Yes. yes. If you're getting something from them, you shouldn't even have to do this at all. You don't have to do this. Um, but I'm doing it because I want to. Because, okay, well, I'm, I'm, uh... 
Yeah, you're... Boys and girls, you're going to be late to the movie. I'd like to do something here. Yeah, well, so would I. Okay, shall we? Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, don't push it, Mary. Let's go. <laughs> uh, I, I, I promised to have her home before midnight, Miss Finnegan. Well, you should, Mr. Scarfield. Otherwise, I'll have to call the police. Well, that'll be a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> so police have her home. <laughs>